what's up everybody Ofi Corbino here and today I wanted to talk about the squat movement should it be a hip dominant movement when it comes to a high bar plus a low bar and what is the best way I think you should perform that so let's start with a high bar a high bar we all know that you can get a better depth and it's more of a quad dominant movement now for the high bar here's what I suggest and Johnny Candido explained that well in his video when he talk about it and most of the guys what they will be taught is to start the movement with the hips and then break with the knees and I think that's totally wrong because you're putting yourself in a risk for an injury as a one who have repeatedly lower back problems I can confidently say that you should break with the hips and the knees together to put less stress on the lower back now as far as low bar yes I think that you should kinda do the same but it's more of a hip dominant movement more dominant than the high bar so maybe on the low bar you will start a little bit with the hips and then you break with the knees but some some guys can feel comfortable breaking them both together even with the low bar and some guys can feel better when they when it's a totally of a hip movement but again do whatever works best for you and keeping you away from those injuries I had a lot of, a lot of lower back injuries and that, that's just my suggestion alright so I hope you guys like the video if you do like make sure to comment like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video